Hello, my name is Hemingway Jones. Welcome to the channel. I make videos about fountain pens for curious people. Today, we're going to speak about a fountain pen that's made out of a different substance, sterling silver. So have you ever seen a sterling silver fountain pen? Well, today you will. Let's get to it. So let's take a look at this absolutely gorgeous pen. As you take it out of its box, lovely box that shows that it's the King Charles III coronation pen. And then it has this inner box. It's really nice. It feels like leather, but it's probably leatherette or some other substance. But very lovely, elegant box, perfect for a gift presentation. So as you remove the pen, you can see how it reflects the light in different directions with its beautiful finish that we're going to speak about now in a little bit more detail. So this pen is made traditionally. They're made to order. Only 250 of these pens will be made. Each of them is numbered. You can see this one is numbered number 95. So it is made by being engine tuned and hand tooled with a guilloche pattern, which is a really great way to affect the silver so that it holds and reflects the light in different ways. I have a Cartier watch that has this effect on its dial and it's absolutely lovely to see how it plays with the light in different situations. And that's one of the things that initially really struck me about this pen. It is absolutely gorgeous in its finish from the hallmarks at the back of the pen on the barrel all the way to the top where there is a cameo of King Charles III etched that is masterfully done and very nice which shows that this is the pen that marks the coronation of King Charles. So one of the interesting choices is the fact that the clip is gold, whereas the body is such shiny silver. I think this is an interesting aesthetic choice. I'm not sure I would have made that choice, but I do see how the contrast adds to the luster of each and it certainly makes for an interesting offset. And similarly, the nib is two-toned as well. Now, I've always loved two-tone nibs, and this one is very beautiful. I know Conway Stewart uses Yovo nibs, but they go through an extra step where John Sirica finishes them and gets them tuned to be incredibly smooth and beautiful writers. We're gonna check this one out in a few moments. So let's go through some of the stats on this pen. At 48 grams, it's rather hefty, as you would expect from a pen that's made out of metal like silver, but it does give it a certain luxurious feel because of that heft. But if you're someone who likes light pens, Take that into consideration. Now it does lighten up considerably if you remove the cap. It is designed to be posted and it posts rather nicely, but personally, I feel like it is entirely too long when posted and puts too much of the weight at the back of the pen, making it too difficult to write with, in my opinion. Though you certainly can post this pen. So let's get into some of the particulars. I mentioned that the clip is gold. It's 23 karat gold. It doesn't appear to be spring loaded. It's just sort of in place, but it is very beautifully shaped. It has this diamond at the end and it works well enough for a clip, but I guess you would have to be a little careful what you clip it to so that it doesn't bend out of shape and lose its ability to hold on to something. The cap unscrews. So it's more designed for when you take the cap off and then write for a long period of time, which makes it more of a journaling correspondence pen than a note taking or business pen, in my opinion. But I've used screw caps for each. So if we look at the mechanism, you unscrew the barrel and what you have is a cartridge converter fill system. 
and it's really kind of funny. It takes quite a bit of screwing to undo the barrel. There are quite a few threads that you need to negotiate. So one of the areas where I feel like this pen is lacking is in the converter. This converter does not feel very robust or very luxurious at all. It sort of just feels like one of those $12 Amazon converters that you could get anywhere. Um, I mean, it does have metal, which is nice, but I don't think it's made out of glass. I could be wrong about that. And the grip feels a bit plasticky. I'm sure it's made of some sort of resin, but it doesn't really match the luxury of the silver. But if you were to hold silver, I think it wouldn't be very pleasant in the hand. And the grip does feel very pleasant as you guide this pen across the page. So this pen is seductively beautiful. It reflects the light magnificently. The guilloche pattern is just amazing. I love that about a pen. It sort of gives you a moment of transcendence as you just see this beauty that's in your hand. It's absolutely beautiful. But what is the most important thing? Well, you and I know it's how it writes. So let's see how this pen writes together, shall we? So. I filled it with J. Urban ink, and it's one of my favorite inks. Wow. See, I think the tuning by John Sorokal makes all the difference. This is such a smooth pen, and it really doesn't feel like a Yovo nib. It feels like something else. Wow, it feels very smooth, very fast. It also makes that really nice scribing noise, which I quite enjoy from a pen. This is really a joy. So I would say it's a bit on the wet side, which I also enjoy. The feed is keeping up with the nib, no problems. There seems to be no false starts, no hesitation, no issues at all. It's just really an excellent writer. Very elegant, very balanced in the hand. I'll say I'm not really affected by the weight right now at all. So I don't think it's an issue unposted. It's very beautiful, very impressive. So I am rather happy with how this is writing. It's really fun to use and really smooth. So this pen is 575 pounds, which is around $733 at the time of filming. So you have to ask yourself, is it worth that to you? And only you can make that decision. These value propositions in pens are always interesting and difficult. We all use different rationalizations to get there. But you are getting a limited run of a pen. There's only 250 pieces made. It will be made custom to you. You can choose all sorts of nib options, obliques, whatever you like to make it more expressive and custom to you. It's made out of silver, which is lovely. You don't see that every day. And it does mark the coronation of King Charles III. Does that make it collectible? I don't know. I don't get into that. I don't buy pens to collect them and sell them later. Um, if that's something you're into, then I'm sure you can make that decision for yourself. But as a writer, I think $733 is fair enough for a limited edition pen in silver with that really nice Yovo nib that's been tuned by John Sorica. 
The nib is extraordinary. It feels as good as any luxury pen that I've written with in the last few years. I do wish the converter was a bit beefier and the grip, you know, is just kind of okay. Um, but the experience of writing with it and seeing all that silver sort of dazzle you in your eyes is um, kind of a joy and sort of fun and different. I wouldn't normally choose a pen that's made of a precious material like this. Pens to me are tools, but they're beautiful tools. And this certainly does take that to an extreme. Guilloche is a pattern that I just love. I love how it's tooled and I love the effect that it gives in the light. So it's a pretty interesting pen and I am enjoying using it for the time I have it because pretty soon it goes back in the box and I send it back to Conway Stewart. But I do appreciate them sending it along so that I could experience it and share that experience with you because I know that you're curious about fountain pens as much as I am. So what do you think of the Conway Stewart King Charles III coronation pen a limited edition in beautiful sterling silver is this a pen you'd consider for your collection let me know in the comments it sure is an interesting pen so thank you very much for watching i appreciate it and if you've got to this point in the video please subscribe i'd love to have you along on this journey with us also if you want to get even more involved membership is available come on behind the scenes and see all the fun we're having back there so i release new videos every week and i have a live show on tuesday nights at 8 p.m so i promise we will see each other very soon further up the road so take care really?